Choking death. 60% huh? 31 percentage. Why is he everywhere? We need to do this. I think we have time. I hope. Not not famous last words. Right, let's do the balance. 40 days. Oh, that's fine. Saving, teleporting. We have not been in our throne room for a while. Let's see what Skudrak, what the clan Skudrak wants from us. Well, they want to reward us. That's nice. Rudrun Skudrak looks much better than she did on your first meeting. Wait, that's a girl? Oh, did your first meeting. Back then, she could barely stand for the wounds she'd received fighting the golem. Now the dwarf stands proudly at attention before you in polished armor. Your Highness, my dear Sir Harem, deeply respected servant of Grotus, the Skudrak clan has sent me to you to express our gratitude for everything you have done for us. Present you with a humble gift. We crafted this for Sir Harem personally, from the metal of artifacts unmade by him. Would enhance a small but heavy chest to Harem and bows. Harem frowns, trying to hide his confusion, then nuts and accepts the gift. Well, I'm glad you're all right. It's nice to see someone manage to make something useful out of the worthless crap. Uh, bye. That was... That was quick. The Metal Reborn. This time it gives its rarer DR5 blood. Blunderjing and plus 6 enhancement bonus to Wisdom and Charisma. Hmm. Useless. Rack looks at the city below, dazed. What city below? <laughs> well, it's over. No accusation, no spitting in their face. No big fight. Just a pile of scorched bones and some stupid story from an old fart. I'm glad you were able to forgive your tribe. Forgive them? Oh no. I haven't forgiven anyone, not them. And not Janusz. But who cares how I treat them in my head anyway? There are some f things in life you can't change. Stupid to sit and hold about them like a wolf howling at the moon. That's all. It's a shame. I couldn't meet my brother. Of course, but he's in Ferrisum's hands now, just like the rest of them. Buried and... Well, no. Not, not forgotten. I remember this. Just left behind. I don't waste time looking for lessons in everything like Lindsay does. But if any conclusion can be drawn from this story, it's the least... It's... It's this. Let's not screw our lives like the like this piece of shit did. You're my tribe. You, Octavia, the rest of our crazy gang. They don't need anybody else. Aww, I love you too, man. <laughs> Rest in peace, brother. It's a shame we never met. <laughs> what do you know? Harden match marchinus marchions me. Okay. You got a level for that. Nice. See what the storyteller has to say. Oh, nothing. Right. Well, What's take a nap. Let's have a nap. job good good sleep well done a kingdom Let, let's do a little bit of kingdom and then it's bad time well not bad time it's it's break time i need food it's not even night yet i'll probably play some apex later 
I'm, I'm feeling a little apex today. Da, da, da. At least apex is very nice to keep my voice from imploding. Let's let's do the quest for him. Hope will prevail. Request. One general one to request. Da -da, nothing to do. Training grounds. Or oh, just one of them. Don't care. Recurrence contently. I have an idea I'd like to share with you. I'm sure it's occurred to you that we are now in control. We are the power everyone answers to. Not only in the stone lands, we demand respect. And this worthy of respect are worthy of doing business with. Prof profitable business. Anyway, free rent presenters of dealers in life and death have requested an audience with you. All three are willing to support our army. Talk to them and decide which of them we want to sign a contract with. However, we can't hire all three. Each of them wants to be your main weapon supplier. How about you? I consider the Arcanamirium. I should talk to the ambassadors. Who should I make the deal with? The mate, of course. Have you seen them fight? Now that's what I call a massacre. Eyeballs hurtling, ice crunching, swoosh, bang. They can rip a soul right out of your body and use it as a bomb. Kaboom. Bony shrapnel flying everywhere. Light in everyone's eyes. Then they jump into the shadows, spread out and sneak behind the enemy lines to finish the survivors. Sounds terrifying. And then they jump. No, they surround them, cover them with a force field and create a little explosion on the iron side. Don't forget the roaring flame. All that's left is ashes and footprints on the scorch. <laughs> Jesus. He's very passionate. I should talk to the ambassadors. Which of the three? The halfling in black. Well, I'm gonna pick the mage. The halfling stands before you wears fine black cashmere. He has a couple of strange looking palm sized crossbows in his waist. His expensive attire does nothing to disguise the scars on his face and hands on a sturdy posture. Your guest just seems more accustomed to sitting in the saddle and wearing traveling clothes rather than visiting places wearing expensive attire. Greetings your highness, I'm Captain Romelio. I represent the Smoky Dawn Arms Factory in the Grand Duchy of Alkenstar. Our enterprise is prepared to provide your army with the finest weapons ever made. Alright, I'm actually not interested in reading all that. Okay. Thank you, I need to think. Th good conversation. I'm gonna pick the sorcerer because I like magic. A sturdy middle-aged woman in practical grey attire, attire bows to you. You can tell by the numerous strings and laces on her neck that she's wearing quite a number of amulets and her rope. How can I just wear one necklace and she can have multiple? Cheater. Her hair is short and cropped. First former Raquilata at your service, your highness. Reporting for negotiations on behalf of the Vans and Brigade graduates of the Arcanamirium. How, how do you decide? In fact, always at your service. Oh, what? In fact, it doesn't matter. We should think fast. What if an enemy assault takes us by surprise and we've got no reinforcement, huh? You understand our armies need... How can I not decide? Do I have to actually talk with them? I actually have to talk with them. Oh my god. What exactly do you have to offer? Blah blah blah. What makes you think I'd prefer you? Uh, blah blah blah. What am I about your weapons in your waistband? Tell me about your motherland. Cool story. Thanks for your information. What do you have to offer? Your title is very unusual. What is another little? Thank you. Good talk. I'm a busy man. I, I need to be hurry. I need to be quick. 
Tell me about your gods because I would not want to look here about your gods. I'm a king. It's not like I have anything better to do, right? In fact, what is that? Why does it sound like... Okay, I can choose now. Uh, da, 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 da. I trust engineer. I'm impressed with Arkham's power. I'm impressed with Arcanemion's power. I'd like its graduates to train our mages. I can get a decent ed education in Arcanamirium. They don't teach us. They don't just teach the books, but also how to use your legs and hold a weapon. The result is well-rounded warriors. That was an interesting endeavor. All the artisans coming. Rolling cat, huh? Interesting. Fortune Fencer. Plus two bonus attack rolls with melee weapons. That sounds nice. Does it stack? It actually stacks. Ooh. Ooh. Amiri? I guess I'm gonna give it to Amiri. Just worried about her def defense. It'll be fine. God, I have so much wandering car. No. What, what else did I get? Oh shit, don't remember. Ooh, I didn't see this. Oh boy, that is a strong one. Ooh, 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 what do we do? Well, we will decide another time. I'm just speed running at this point. All in cards. A bow. Speed. I want to see that actually. Where is it? This one. No. Oh. 